As you'd have seen on the thumbnail and the intro, this is a steam engine video. Got this wonderful construction kit here sent in from Engine DIY. This time it's a base steam engine. So we have the boiler assembly here and then a vertical little steam engine at the end. Looks like something that uh, might have be fitted into a model boat. Reminds me of that type of engine. Now, if you've not seen these kits from Engine DIY before, I've done a few of these on the channel. Um, if you're into steam engine kits and you've done like I've done before, like the Mamod and the Walesco kits, this is a whole different level. Honestly, the kits that are coming out of China right now are absolutely amazing for the money. And some people are a little bit down on these Chinese kits. And I don't understand why, because you'll see when we actually get this downstairs and I start building it, this is all going to be all metal. It's all going to be brass. It's going to be laser cut stainless steel. All of this will have roller bearings. It's not friction bearings. It's proper roller bearings. Very, very high quality at a price that just wasn't affordable a few years ago. Thankfully, it now is. So that's what we're going to be doing. Let's get this downstairs. I'll quickly uh, construct it and then we can take it outside. And the bit I want to do is I want to run it for the first time. Let's do a very, very quick unboxing. First, we get the instructions, uh, all black and white, really. I would have liked to send some color photos and also the bags of the parts weren't labeled for bolts and things, but uh, I worked it out. Very nice base, all metal, of course. Then we get into the meat of the kit and the quality here is absolutely great. For the uh, en engine part here here we're seeing the piston assembly very very nicely made i know i'm going to keep banging on about it but it really really is and each part comes in its own foam packaging so there's no chance of this getting damaged out by the pine trees past the old wooden fence Fred's in a shed making new friends With a CB radio And a smile so wide He's talking about sex With a twinkle in his eye From early in the morning Till the sun goes down He's broadcasting live for the folks in town The stories about truckers Just coming to mount the boiler assembly and the engine on the base and there's one thing that it doesn't explain in the instructions and that is the steam feed pipe You're going to have to you're going to have to bend that to get that to line up. I've I've kind of had these in the past when they're pre-bent, and you have to make sure that this is exactly square, otherwise you risk cross-threading that. I'm a little disappointed because I followed the instructions, and that's where we are. And as I say, you turn the page, and then the next picture shows the pipe can you see that it shows the pipe pre-bent but there's no instructions or advice on bending that uh, copper pipe so yeah a little disappointed at this price level that that's not pre-formed and i'm going to have to try and bend this without putting strain on this joint it's going to be a little bit fiddly, it's going to take some time. I did it anyway, so that's the shape that you need. I mean, it's nice that you get a pure copper pipe and it's not a flexible silicon pipe, but I didn't enjoy forcing that, to be perfectly honest. So overall, it's been quite a nice build. Um, Time-wise, it does take a little bit of time. Allow, I would say, a day, really. To do it in your own leisure building the the engine was an absolute joy the quality on the build on the engine is fantastic it's probably one of the best i think it is the best that i've built i've built everything fitted um no problems with any of the threads including the tiny little nameplate there with tiny little screws absolutely um a joy to build
And there it is. So I think we'll bring this video to a close. I'd like to thank Engine DIY for sending in this wonderful kit. I do have a brand new hit and miss engine from them, which I'll be um, featuring soon. So make sure you're subscribed and the bell notification and all that. If you're interested in this model or anything else on the Engine DIY website, because it's well worth a look, guys. They have some amazing models on there. Steam engines, hit and miss engines, radio controlled cars, even working jet engines if your pockets are deep enough. But the link to this model is in the description for you to go and look at. I'd like to say thank you for sticking with the video. Thank you for your view time. Thumbs up from Freddy and Shed if you get a second before you go and you've enjoyed the video. Just hit me a thumbs up down below. I like to see that. I know then you're enjoying the videos. But as always, I'd like to say cheers. Look after each other. Stay safe. And I'll catch you on the next video. Cheers, guys. Friends in the shed Where the magic unfolds Fred in the shed With his trusty CB He's a friend to the lonely On a frequency